Your orthopedics rotation will be all about seeing these black and white images over and over again. In these black and white images, you will get to see a lot of fractures like this one or this one or even this one. But to understand these images or to look beyond these images as a clinician or orthopedician, you first. So first things first. So let us understand what is a fracture. So fracture simply means break in the continuity of periosteum. The outermost layer of a bone break in periosteum. Right? Now, a fracture means breaking of two bones. Now, grossly, first think, what can happen? A bone can break, like over here, and both the bone fragments can stay within the boundaries of the soft tissue. That type of a fracture is known as a closed fracture. And right now, I should tell you that we represent fracture by this hashtag. Suppose I have to talk about a femur fracture, I will say fracture femur, right, with a hashtag. I believe you have understood this much. But in some unfortunate cases, what can happen is that a bone can break into two pieces or multiple pieces and one fragment or two can come out of the soft tissue boundary from a wound like in this case in that case that fracture will be known as a open fracture open fractures are also known as commune compound fracture compound fracture so the first classification a broad classification of fracture is that a fracture can be a closed fracture where the bone fragments are within the boundaries of the soft tissue and or within the skin and there can be another fracture that is open fracture or compound fracture where fragments or pieces of the bone are coming out of this piercing the skin right so this is the idea of open and closed fracture now another way of classifying it is that a fracture can be non-displaced fracture as in this case over here you can see over here we can see there's a fracture line but the bone fragments have not changed their anatomical position with respect to each other so this is a non-displacement that means there has been no displacement in the second case over here, you can see there has been a fracture, but the bone fragments have drifted away from each other and they have changed their anatomical position. So this is a displaced fracture. And in the extreme case of displaced fracture is your open fracture or compound fracture. That means there the displacement is so much or so extensive that the fractured bone is coming out of the skin. So compound fracture also itself is a displaced fracture, right? So now non-displaced and displaced fracture are open and we have compound. So by now we have understood the few terms that is open fracture, closed fracture, displaced fracture and non-displaced fracture understanding with this understanding of the basics let us move on to the x-rays and understand the different types of fractures over here let us start with this one over here you can clearly make out the fracture line there is a fracture line and there are two two components or two fragments of the bone right and you can see there is a relative displacement right the fragments have shifted away right so this is a displaced fracture is it a compound fracture that means open no it is a closed fracture displaced right now let us understand the mechanism of injury what can be the direction of the force right so there has been a direction of the force is horizontal in this case how over here suppose there was one force like this which caused a fracture in the bone so it is a horizontal force and this sort of fracture is known as a transverse fracture because the line of fracture line is transverse right this is our type 1 over here now let us come to type 2 fracture over here this one over here you can I believe you can make out the fracture line is oblique right so the direction of the force will be also oblique so this fracture is also displaced and closed okay so both of these are displaced and closed this fracture is known as oblique fracture Right now come to the third one over here. Can you see the fracture line over here? If you focus the one fracture line is like this and the another fracture line goes like this. So there has been a spiral twisting the force line. If I try to draw somebody put a force on this part like this counterclockwise and on this part a clockwise force was given. So one fragment got a counterclockwise force. Another part got a clockwise force and that caused a spiral break in the bone. So this is known as a spiral fracture. Again, in this case, the fracture is displaced. There may be cases where the fracture is not displaced, right? So these are the three types. Now, in all these cases, we have seen that the fracture has resulted into two bony components, one component, two component or two bony fragments. In the oblique fracture also, we have this one component, two component, two bony components. In the spiral fracture also, we have this proximal component or proximal fragment and we have the distal fragment. So two components. 
but there can be fractures where you can get more than two components as in case of this fracture over here can you see there's one component bony another bony component so the fibula has a two component fracture but if you see the tibia one over here one component another component third component fourth component fifth component so in this type of fractures there are multiple components and the direction of force application is very difficult to determine this sort of fractures where you have more than two components this type of fractures are known as comminuted fracture comminuted fracture right now we have talked about fractures where we get two components we have talked about fracture where we get more than two components but there are fractures where we have fracture lines but the, there is no more than one component as in this case over here you have this fracture line but the fracture line is incomplete it is not separating the bone into two pieces just a part of the bone has got damaged as it, as you can see over here in my drawing the fracture line is incomplete and there's just a crack in the bone so this sort of fractures are known as green stick fracture where the bone remains intact there's just a line of crack in the bone and over here there's only one component or one fragment because the bone does not get separated right so this is how we approach different sort of fractures by now at the end of this video i believe you have understood what is a closed fracture and what is a open fracture you have understood what is a displaced fracture and what is a non displaced fracture now you have understood the direction of force application that is transverse oblique or spiral and also you have understood comminuted fracture and non comminuted fracture with this basics i believe you are ready to rock your orthopedics post 